Hello everybody. Well, it's uh, fossil hunting adventure day. And uh, so I'm getting all the stuff ready. I've got it all down here. Um, we can't do any excavations or any like hitting hammers on rocks and stuff like that here. So it's literally just picking up stuff for your eyes. Uh, a lot of people do do the hammering that there. But to be honest, I'll show you when I get there that it's not what you want to be doing anyway. It's a waste of time. Absolute complete waste of time doing that. Um, but yeah, when we get there, I'll show you all the tips and tricks, what to do, what not to do, um, what everyone else usually does, which leaves them finding nothing. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what we've got here to take with us. And then, uh, yeah, I think we'll be uh, heading off to pick up Courtney and then off on our adventure. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. So we've got sandwiches. We've got some pop to keep us going, a bit of sugar. We've got my uh, good lucky fossil hammer, but we won't be using him today. He's just here for good luck. And we've got to mark our uh, our fifth fossil adventure on him. Um, we've got the cameras. We've got spare batteries all charged up. We've got the waterproof case just in case it rains. And for some reason, we've got three right-handed gloves. So, actually, yeah, yeah, right-handed gloves. Yeah, and I've got no lefts. So, I don't know what that's all about, but at least I've got one hand spare. But, uh, yeah, that's all we're taking today. Don't need any chisels, don't need any anything like that, because we're not going to be using them, because you're not allowed to. So, um, but I can take you to a place one time where we'll be splitting rocks and stuff, but this isn't the kind of place where you need to do that anyway. So, you don't need any of these tools. You, or, or, no, sorry. You do need some of this stuff, because you need to survive. But, uh, yeah, you don't need any actual tools. You can just go there with these and pick up pick up fossils. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'll most probably be using this as, like, a grappling hook to help me climb up the rocks and climb up the thingy. So, uh, yeah, because we're going to show you my secret spot. I'm not going to show you how to get to my secret spot, but I'll show you the spot. If you go up there and you find it, good on you. But uh, I'm not going to put everything out on a plate for you. I'll give you some good starting tips and good starting places. But it's not an adventure if I tell you exactly where to go, is it? So, uh, yeah, that's part of all the fun. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this packed up in the bag. And then uh, we're off to pick up Courtney. Hello, everybody. So we've made it. Courtney's overslept, so she's going to come next time. But uh, there we are. Wren's Nest Fossil Hunting Reserve. So we're going to have a quick look round and then uh, as soon as we start getting close to anything I'll, uh, I'll fill you all in. But uh, it's a nice little walk up it is. So we're going to go the long way because it's a better walk. There is quite a few cars down there so it might be a bit busy. So keeping the distances is going to be the main thing but it might help us because we can be easier to tell you where they are. It's probably not going to be a good spot. So. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, <coughs> show you where all the good spots are. And uh, I know they won't be there because it's, everyone starts hammering at the rocks. And you ain't gonna find nothing. Hammering at the rocks, it takes millions of years of nature to expose any of those fossils. And you think you're gonna be hammering away and you're gonna do anything. And if you do find anything, you're gonna smash it getting it out anyway. <coughs> so you're better off finding a uh, a bit where nature's done it all for you, washed all the rocks out, and the fossil should be there. And uh, oh, we should be able to get a nice view with the back half of it from over here. So, uh, have a look through there. Yeah, I can already see people. It is, it's a lovely walk, I have to admit. So, we can crack on with our little walk and then uh, I can show you some good spots. I actually have been all the way down there and we couldn't find much. So I'll show you my little spots and uh, we'll get a nice view of it in a sec. Well, so we've made it to the top. That's where we are today. See these people down there doing some stuff like so. But yeah, we have a, should have a good day today. This is the sort of stuff we're looking for. Oh. So yeah, we should have a good day today. 
So it's gonna be more marine stuff than anything else. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we we'll crack on. There are some cool spots that I'll tell you about. Um, <coughs> yeah, you can see people are facing and playing with the rocks. So a lot of the erosion, you can see they got a pile of rocks at the bottom. A lot of those piles of rocks hasn't come from the cliff. Because if you look at the cliff, it's orange. And if you look down here, the rocks are all grey. So they haven't come from that spot. So those are the ones where people have put them there for you to find them because they don't want you to excavate. So uh, we'll have a climb down, we'll have a quick look and then I'll give another explore and then um, we'll crack on. So we are down in the valley. So it's proper cool down here, I have to admit. There's some other bits over here. So a lot of this, when you were allowed to excavate, people went a bit too far and um, dug massive holes. I mean, they were getting extremely good fossils out, I have to admit. But it was too much. This is a, a, um, a national reserve and you've got to keep it, they want to keep it for as long as they can. So if you can see here, this is one of the pits that they filled in. So this went down about four or five feet. So it was dangerous. And it was also <coughs> causing a lot of erosion a lot faster than it normally would be. But these rocks here that they filled it with are full of fossils. So that's what they end up doing. So some of the best fossils I've found were down there. So you can see it, these rocks haven't really come from here because the only bits are coming off are little tiny bits of shale. So a lot of the piles of rocks they've put down there. So we're going to have a climb up to the top of the rock, get some views from up there, and then uh, we're going to take you down our little trail and show you where all the good stuff is. So uh, let's have a little butchers. So see if we can, I don't think I can climb with the camera, but. We'll have a little go, shall we? It's no harm in trying. Yep, no harm in giving it a go. So, up we go, because we want to get some good footage for everybody so they can have a good look. So we're going, ooh, no hands at all at the moment. So. Up we go, up we go. Look at that, mate, like a billy goat. Like a billy goat. So look at that for you. So I'm not exactly in the middle of nowhere. Well, may as well be. Look at it, man. Amazing area it is. So, where all these rocks are piled up in the valleys, that's where you want to look for some nice fossils. That's where I found my best ones. Um, and then further down on that little path down there is another place where um, it's where they get a lot of these rocks from to put in the valley because they don't want you smashing this and I mean the, the, the brown stuff is where you're going to find stuff so but the, 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 the odds of it you getting it out without breaking it is very very slim unless you go to my secret spot where it's eroding straight away and you can just pick rocks pick fossils out the out the uh out the clay and the uh and the limestone so uh yeah we're gonna go down have a little look in the rocks see what we can find anything sh uh, to show you and then um we crack onto the good spots but yeah what a cracking day for it so shame i'm on me todd but we can't have everything and if you look we're packing out all our rubbish we don't want to leave any rubbish behind. It's bad sportsmanship. So, do you want to play the horrible for the next person comes? You want to come and appreciate it exactly the same as the last person did. So, you want it nice, clean, no rubbish, no cans of beer, and all. you do get the kids come up here on the weekends. You know, kids will be kids, but you know what I mean. At least take your rubbish with your kids. Come on, have some brains. Um, so I'm going to try, I ain't going to go down with no hands, so I can't do that, that's deadly. So I'll give you a pause so I can put you in the bag and then uh, we'll crack you down when I'm down on the bottom.
So I'm halfway down the cliff, so I'm being very careful. But look at that right there. Can you spot it? Can you spot it? Look at that. First fossil of the day. No one even trying. Just sat on the rocks. Look. See, no hammer, no chisels. Quite easily done. Just picking them up off the rocks. So it's the best way to do it. It's not evasive. I mean, we can have a look. I mean, it just crumbles away. So anything that's in there is just going to get destroyed unless it's weathered out naturally. So <coughs> there was a bigger one that I seen. Here we go. That there's a fossil as well. It's a big shell. See, it's got the flat bottom, and you've got the, the grooves of it coming this way. But yeah, you trying to get that out, you're just gonna you're just gonna destroy it. Oh, look at these little bits of coral. Just some little bits of coral. Oh, is that a bit of bone? Oh, it's hard to say. It might be coral, but we keep them all. We go. So we've got some little bits and bobs. So I'm going to carry on climbing down and try not to break my neck. So I'll see you in a sec. So I've been looking here. Look at them. It's all fossil coral. You break it, bringing it out the rock. You would. Um, oh, there's one there. Look. This is just covered. Absolutely covered. Oh look, there's one loose. So we'll take that with us. You only want to take loose stuff because otherwise you're going to break it getting out the rock. So you can see there's just layers and layers of broken coral. Broken coral. More broken coral. I mean, there's nothing amazing, I'm afraid. Because this, this looks like it's all been smashed. So you want to find stuff that hasn't been smashed. So I mean, it all looks, it's a cracking spot. We can always come back later on if we, we get stuck to everywhere else. But yeah, this is looking good, this is. It's, it's all coral though. So, I'm still on the cliff. I ain't got right down off the cliff yet. I'm such a little squirrel. Every time I say, oh, look at that, get at that. Oh, what's that, what's that? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna climb down now, officially. See, that's what we don't want to see, is rubbish. I can't pick it up either, because of coronavirus. So, as soon as coronavirus is over, we can come around and pick some rubbish up. But at the moment, we can't touch nothing, just in case the person that corona who dropped it. So, we've got to be, we've got to think of everything. We've got to think of everything. Can't be touching nothing. We've got to think of safety. So, we made it down. We're down with some of the bigger rocky outcrop, bigger rocks now. This is where you'll find some of the nicer pieces that haven't been smashed. So, <coughs> I'm just scanning with my eyes at the moment. Um, do, do, do. Anything looking good? Um, um, there's some little bits. Thing is, people come down here and start smashing them with hammers. Oh, there we go. Is a nice one. We'll take that one with us. So I think we'll have a walk down to our better spot, I think. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the plan. We'll go to our better spot first and then um, we'll, uh, we'll crack on. So if you look over there, that's, that's the really good area that is. That's where the, the ocean floor has been pushed up by the tectonic plates so that's where all the really really good fossils are so that's why they fenced it all off because they don't want anybody hitting it with hammers so we've got some lovely stuff here look at that that's impressive isn't it we've got finding fossils Some of the stuff you may find. So, the main aim today would be 
we want to find a trilobite and then if we find anything else then we can just dot them around the place for uh, for kids to find so i like doing that making sure the kids can find something for next time keeps everybody interested you know if they come and they don't find nothing they ain't gonna want to come back am they and then there's less people into fossils and places like this won't exist I'll just drop me rock so you can see there we go it's a nice view of the place I'm going to unzip my bag and put the, fossil, put, the, 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 put the fossils away so we don't lose them. And there's some kids around here somewhere kicking off. But, uh, yeah, we're a crack on, so we want to come down this little path here, we do. You can see it, we just want to keep going. And then as soon as the, as soon as the, uh, the cliff face starts coming towards the path, that's where we uh, start looking for the fossils. But we're going to have a little dip in here as well, because this can be a good spot as well. So if we look there, that's the area that's fenced off. You can almost see the, the ripples in the sand. It's that preserved. That is absolutely stunning. So I'll get my other camera out and get another clip of it. But that's where you find all the really nice stuff. There's a lot of stuff up there, but you can, as you can see, people have been taking... If you look at the difference in height, there must be, I'll go from a different angle. They've got an eight foot fence there. So you can see people have took this down eight foot compared to that side. So this cliff face was eight foot steeper. If you know what I mean? And they've took it back looking for fossils and, and taken it away. So that's why they've protected this side. But so we're gonna have a little walk down there, have a look in the, in the loose rock. We're not going to climb that this time. Uh, but what I might do just to get some little photos for you. But yeah, we're going to get the other camera out now and have a look with that one. So here we go, I'll zoom in on it. See, look. It's all the ripples in the sand, that is. From millions and millions and millions of years ago. That was on the ocean, ocean floor. And then the tectonic plates have hit together and pushed this up. That's how they make mountains. So that's where all the fossils were laying on the floor there, and that's why they've come up now and we can get them. This, but you can see there, that's where everyone else has been taking it from. So, we'll have a little wander down. Here we are. I'll come up the cliff a bit just to show you. But you can see, this would have been sand. All these ripples, would have been sand. And you can see there, fossils. You wouldn't get, never get these out because you'd smash them. Some coral, more fossils. The place is just riddled in it, absolutely riddled. Absolutely riddled and riddled. And there are only little ones here. That's why they're still here. If they were nice and big, someone would have tried to take them and most likely destroyed them by now. So that's the world we live in, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, there's absolutely loads of little fossils. You can see where people have been trying. To, some people come and just destroy them, just because they can. So, don't know what that's all about. But yeah, this isn't our good spot anyway. So we crack on, find our good spot, and then uh, we'll be away then. Ah, so we're on our trail to the next spot now. That's where we just was. So, it's such a lovely little day out, even if you don't want to go looking for fossils. You just want to take the kids out. You can do good social distancing. The gates are closed, but on the on the internet it says it's open. So, plausible deniability and all that. So, oh. What a lovely day. So if you think everybody is all the way over there, <coughs> we must be, yeah, you can see the other side of the fence, just about there. So the other side of that fence over there is where everyone else is. And we're going that way. So we know there's something going on in there. So there's no one over here. So should be loads of fossils. 
little bit over there, look, see? We want to go where there's no one been looking in the poles of rocks. So, uh, yeah, over we go. It's not that way. It's up there. Where is it? It's up there. So, we've got to go up the mountain now. So, I've gone the wrong way. It's not down there. So, oh, the place is like a maze sometimes. It's just trees, isn't it? It's hard to remember where you are. But up we go. And I'll see you in a sec. Ooh, fossils. Squirrel. <laughs> so this is the area. I mean, Victorian times. There was all caves and tubes going through and all stuff like that. But they filled it all in now, which is really, really heartbreaking because I'd have loved to have seen all that. But, uh, yeah, I went the complete wrong way. So... Yeah, well, I could have, but I would have had to go out on the road, and I didn't want to go out on the road. So I want to go the long way around, and I'll fill you in when, I'm, when I get there. So, woo wee! Yeah, going the wrong way has killed me. I had to go up and over. So when I was on that side of the hill, I've just come over that. You see how tall it was, so I've just had to come up and over. And uh, now I'm going to hike around, I'll show you where they filled in the tunnels. And then, uh, Oh, we get to the fossil spot. So there's a reason there's still good fossils there. It's a pain in the ass to get there. So hike away we do. So here we have look, this is looking nice. So this is the the famous bit where everybody came in the Victorian time. So you got all the fossils, so you got to all the seven sisters. Uh, here we go. You see where they've bricked it all up? Yeah. So that's where the cool tunnels were. And it all linked together. And it was just those fossils all up the walls. And this is why it's a World Heritage site. And that's why they've buried it because people don't, you can't be trusted, can you? None of you can be trusted not to steal the fossils. So, well, without smashing the crap out of everything and risking cave-ins and stuff, so. Oh, we carry on with the walk. Well, you can tell I ain't been out in a while, can't you? Woo-wee. So we'll crack on. I'll take some close-up photos of this for you, and then uh, we'll be away. So there it is where they've blocked that one off, filled that one in, and filled that one in. There's another one down there as well, and there's the other hole. So this would all have been one big hollow tube. If I can find the picture on Facebook, I will. So on Google, and I'll put it on for you. And you can see how stunning it was. But that's what we've got now. We're having lunch on the move today, because I want to get to the spot, so. Lunch on the move. Look at that for a view. What a stunning place, eh? Even got a castle over there. And then over here, well, there's a sign. So if you're following me, you can follow me by the signs. <laughs> giving you little clues. So that would have been a good area down there, but it's all fenced off again. Because of danger and rock slides. That would have been a good spot for fossils. So we're going to crack on on our little mission. That would be an okay little spot. Let's have a look. But it doesn't look like there's been much natural erosion. So the only good bit to look would be here, where there's some natural erosion where you can look through the rocks. That would be your best chance of finding anything. So just have a quick skim. Can't see anything amazing. 
So, life is probably topsoil. So, we're going to crack on this way. Yes, I'm on the right trail. I remember that rock. So, I've had a look there. There's more crystals in that rock than fossils. And there was a massive spider in there as well. Which I was going to catch him selling the shop because he was that big. But we left him free. <laughs> oh, so we're getting close now. You might be able to use some of the little hints I've gave you to follow me along the journey. Oh, I record the. Excuse me, because I got some pop. The uh, the way back as well. You can have a good look at that then. I think we got to go over them. Right. Yes, we do. Who wants to go? This way. I think. Is it this way? Or this way? Um. We go this way. Yes, yeah, this way. I remember now. I haven't been here in like a year and a half just so you know <laughs> okay so we've just gone through them green gates we've come through here this is the start of the good areas so this is where it took us remember now we were hiked we hiked the whole place literally we was up in the mountain hiking it we uh we nearly fell off a couple of times and there were some really, really dodgy areas where if you fall, you're gonna. But there we go. There's the little cliff face up there. But this is only the, um, this is the lower end good place. So we only have to walk along. And there's little bits of fossils all over the floor. So we, we know he's in the good spot. We know he's in a good spot. And everyone else is miles away. I'm in at rocks. So, good luck to him, eh? While we're up here and we look for the good stuff. I always take some good stuff with me and put it down there for him to find. Oh, I'm dying coming up this hill. Oi. I entered the bag off all day. I need to sit down and have 10 minutes with the bag off, I think. That's going to be the main thing. I'm even getting the arms getting tired now. Oh, we've got rocks with fossils in. Are we done? So we go, shell. Now that is complete. Both sides of the shell. I'll get the good camera out. You would never be able to get that out of a rock. Nature's done that and got it out by weathering it out. This is why it's such a good spot up here. So I'll get the good camera out and I'll show you. So these, I've literally just picked these up. And that's both sides of that shell is there. You would never get that out of a rock. You've got this one here, both sides as well. You'd never ever get that out of the rock yourself. I literally, I'm just going through this. Sorry, there's more there's coral there. There's more here. The rocks have got it on. There's another one just there. I mean, it's hard to see now with the camera. There he is. Fossilized shell. It's another one there and there. The only little tiny tiny fossils they are. You'd never ever get these out. Ever. You was hammering on a rock, you'd never get them out, ever. So we carry on looking for some bigger better fossils but I know this is where all I can get some nice little really really dainty ones 
We look, there's more there. There's more there. You can come up here and get handfuls of little fossils. So, and you've got houses over there. How crazy is that? There's even a house just down there. I mean, imagine having this in your back garden. So, we can crack on, see if we can find some, well actually I'm going to have a break, I'll have 10 minutes and then we're going to go down there because that's where my better spots are. This is my view while I'm having me break. Oh, just sat on a little grassy hill on top of a cliff. As you do. So I wouldn't suggest this, but you know what I mean? I've been rock climbing, abseiling, you name it, I've done it. So gorge walking. Yeah, there's not much adventure stuff I haven't done, so. But yeah, so I'll, the these are going to be my good spots in a sec. And then I'll show you the, the spot where you should go uh, afterwards. So, because I've come, come the wrong way. If I'd have carried on the way I went originally this morning, I would have got, if I'd have gone on the road and come back on, I would have made it here. But I didn't want to go on the road. So I wanted to keep it all adventure today. Going out on the road is an adventure, is it? So we had a good adventure. We went round the long way. Uh, yeah, so we crack on down there. I'll show you some of the good spots in a sec. And then uh, we'll show you where the, the less dangerous spots would be for uh, where you could come. And it's literally five yards away from the, uh, the path. So I'll see you in a sec. Oh, and I've finished off my break. Made it to my good spot. We've come down from there, and we need to go. Uh, nearly slipped up and over to over there. That's my good spot around there. So I'm going to hike across, and then uh, I might need the uh, my old trusty hammer so I don't slip. And then um, yeah, there's some really good spots. This is really good spots. I mean, there's a fossil there already. You can see him all circle. Um, I mean, there's fossils all there. So, I mean, the place is riddled, absolutely riddled. So, up and over we go, and I'll see you in a sec. So, I've been hanging off the edge of a cliff, ordering animals with the suppliers. So, we may have some animals. So, fingers crossed. They sent me an animals list, and everything on there was out of stock. So, I was like, what's the point in sending me that? But, uh, yeah, we've got, should have some coming at least. So I've just got to a good spot, and there's some good fossils here, so I'm going to show you them now. So I've literally just got here. Whoa, I've got to be careful, so I'm going to slip. But there we go, look at the size of these, getting bigger, look. Look at the size of these. Now some of these you may be able to get out because it's softer clay. But there is literally... Tons and tons of big fossils where I am now. You'll find none of these round there. Absolutely none of them. So I know you don't know exactly where I am. But anyone who wants to should be able to use any of the information I've got. I've given give you to find out where I am. But there we go. So I'm going to try... Get round there to where I want to be, round there. And then, uh, see if we can find some good fossils. So I haven't even got up there yet. I found this one and we might be able to get it. Because she's a wiggling. She's a wiggling, she's a wobbling. She's a wiggling, she's a wobbling. Just going to clear some of the dirt away. So literally, it's just pulling out, look at that. So we've got one little fossil. And put that, put that on the bag so we don't lose it. Um, see, I'm using no hammers, 
Now, see, that's just all come away, that has. Look at that. That is a nice, big fossil shell. So we'll have to find out exactly what creature it is. But, yeah, we're on a roll today. We've found some good ones already. So, there we go. We've got that one there. Give them a clean up when I get home. And we've got that one there. So, this is where I'm going to get most of my shell fossils from. And then, uh, later on, we'll get some more of the more uh, dainty ones. I'm just going to put them in my bag safe and we'll crack on. So here we are. So I've only got this just to hang on with. I'm going to fall. We have a nice look round. Oh, we've got something here, look. Let's see, I've just pulled that out now. You see there's a nice fossil on there. Uh, I'm not hitting anything. We're just looking and pulling out the loose stuff. That's all we're doing. This is one of my favourite little spots, this is. So it's all eroding, so nature's doing it all for you. So each time I come, there's fresh stuff exposed, so it's all slid down. So, cracking little spot. So I'm just going to put this one in the bag, so you don't lose it. I'll have another look round. Little ones here. Just a tiny little shell. Um, when this was really muddy, you could kick foot holes into it. it made it easier for you to climb. Whoa! We did just expose this one, bad boy. Rock slide. Started a rock slide, we did. So I've just got that little nice thing, it looks like a tooth. Ooh. Coming across. I've got my boots as well, so I'm in my blooming trainers. I just found that. Looks like a bit of tooth to me. See how it's been snapped off. And there's the uh, there's the little shell. So yeah, we're having a good little day today. I hope you're enjoying it all. Hope I'm not boring you. Yeah? yeah, we're gonna have a. Another room is round, and then if I find anything good, I'm going to show you. What got so far? He's down there. Got some of the little ones in there as well. So we're having a good day today. So I'm going to a couple more, and I'm going to go around and dish them out to the kids that are around. So, uh or at least hide them around so they can find them. So I'm going to go get some more, and then uh, just been from up there, you can see where the camera is. So yeah, crack on a little bit more, and then we're going to go see if we can find some trailer bites down the bottom. Oh, what a day, eh? So I've come down off the mountain now where we were finding those fossils. I've come down now into the woods, and you can see there's loads of rocks everywhere, and this is where we found trailer bites before. So you can see we're right by the path, but this is where I found all the trilobites. We've only ever found two while I've been here. So if we find one, we're going to be really lucky. So uh, I'm going to have a rummage. Have a look. There's not many fossils down here. But the ones that we are down here are really good. So we're just going to be flipping rocks, having a look, see if we can find anything good. That's bone. That is bone. But if you look, that's been cut with a knife. 
so it's not old the humans have done that so it's really light and that's we've been here a while but I don't think she's a fossil you don't get many straight edges like that either so oh anything looking good so I'm gonna line up all my fossils when we're done so you can have a look at oh, from an alley so you can have a look at what we found and then uh, yeah, I think we've had a good day. We've got loads of nice shell ones, which was expect expected. We didn't expect to get loads of trailer bites and that. But we've still got a chance. As soon as I've uh, finished looking through here, we'll crack on to the end and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, so I'm packed up from here now. No trailer bites, I'm afraid. Uh, I've only ever found two while I've been here, and I've been here three, four times. So, uh, yeah, they are thin on the ground. Uh, we've got plenty of other fossils that I can uh, I can show you once we get back, um, or I'll do a little little bit in the car before we go, and then um, there's still one more place I want to check. It's up there, but uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit knackered now carrying around this bag, and I've run out of room for my stuff, so I'm gonna have to down some cans to make some room, carry the rest of it, and then. Uh, We'll be finished for today, soon. One more spot to check, and then we'll have a trip back. So as you can see, that's the normal side, and you can see where people have stripped it all back. Uh, he's even doing a proper square patch there. So that's why you're not allowed to excavate here, because people just ruin it. So it was all nice. Down there, it all looks like there's the sand still, but uh, up here, you can see they've been trying to get stuff like that out. There. I mean, there are some nice fossils up here, apparently, in this bit of section. I mean, I can't see anything, and they've just dug into this. I, mean, I can't see anything, anything any good. So I don't know if they found anything. I'm assuming they did, because you wouldn't do all this work for nothing. I mean, I've had a look through the spoil pile. I mean, there's some nice bits. Um, oh, there it is. It's that one, but I don't know what that is. Sticks for the other side as well. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is what they've ripped off and thrown away. What's that? Yeah, so that's a good one, so we might take that one with us. But yeah, you can see why the place is, they try and look after the place, but people still come and just smash it up. So this is that last place I wanted to check, because last time it had nice fossils for me to show you. But I'm afraid someone's come and took them. So, oh, back down the trails we go, I suppose. I might flip through some of this as well. Because um, a lot of time they're here in the, at the night doing it, so they do miss a lot of the little fossils because they're trying to be sly and do it on the night time. A little something in there. Can't get a bit to buggery today. Get away. Bit to buggery. I uh, can't see much going on. Worth picking up anyway. They must have took anything worth any any anything that looked anything anything that looked any good. So I'll get back down to my stuff before it gets nicked. And the last look through these little bits here. Nah, I can't see much. So I think we'll have a wander back now. Oh, I'm starting to get knackered. Oh. I think I got here for 12 o'clock and well now it's getting on nearly three, four now. So I get my bag packed up. So we've got my cans of pop, I've got a drink, and I've got to carry that and carry all this. So bag's full of fossils, we've got a couple of little bits. So uh yeah, once I get home, I can show you. So I've got some lunch to eat. 
But yeah, I can. Uh, we can have a good. And I'll show you the good ones I found last time as well. So we will see some trailer bites and stuff. But uh, we never found any today, I'm afraid. Still, we might find one on walk back, but we're very surprised. Yeah, that's where they were up there. That's where we was looking for trailer bites. Oh, we're gonna go back down that way. So yeah, I was right this morning. We was coming up here. That's that bit of road I said I didn't go want to go on. Before I carried on walking up, I would have seen that's the way I was meant to go. So I was right at the beginning. I just doubted myself. Oh, so yeah, I think that's it for today. I'm absolutely pooped. Can't fit any more fossils in my bag. So yeah, cracking day I think. Really good day. I'll show you what fossils I found. And um, if we pass anybody looking for fossils, I'll dish a couple out as well. And then, uh, yeah, I'll catch you up when we're in the car or if I dish out any fossils. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, so I've made it back up to the top. You can see we're all up there. So I've done around, I've gone around and hid some of the fossils that I found. So uh, some of the kids can find them. Yeah, I didn't want to go up to anybody and say, do you want a fossil or anything? Because of course you can't go near anybody. So um, I thought I'd dotted some around for people to find and hopefully they find them and they have a, they have a fun day as well. So I'll uh, have a trek down to the car, show you some of the fossils and then I think that'll be it for today. And then I'll uh, crack on back on with tomorrow's video. But uh, yeah, little, little bit of a walk back now and then that's it. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec. So we've just finished our day of fossil hunting. There we are, Wren's Nest National Nature Reserve. So yeah, cracking day today, really good place for the family. So uh, yeah, we've got another notch we've got to put on the hammer, even though we didn't use him. But uh, yeah, still found some nice fossils. I'm going up to the car now, I'll show you what I found, and then uh, most likely end it for the day. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll show you the fossils now. Oh, and I've got to show you the ones I've, um, I've got at home as well. So, still a tiny bit left. Hit the car and I thought I'd show you some of the good ones. Um, this one's kind of a bit of a mismatch of loads of bits. That's a nice weird one. Another one there. Uh, I'll put my finger next to them for scale. They're not, some of them aren't massive. Some of them are reasonably sized. Um, that's a nice one on there. Then we've got some of the little bits and bobs I found. Got coral. Um, more little pieces I found that I thought were interesting. Here's a nice one. Another nice one. That's a big one. Is there one with the two on? It's got one there and one there, which is a nice. Got one which is pit, which is like a pinky cutter. Almost looks copper. But yeah, that's the little bits and bobs for today. It's what the good ones we found. I have got some other ones in there. So some are for the shop, some are for the tanks and stuff like that. That is a display piece to go on. That is for my house, that is. And clean that up and have a little wall display because it's covered in fossils so yeah I think we've had a good day today go home and then I'll show you the really good ones that I've found over the last three or four times I've come so uh, I'll uh, I'll see you in about oh half hour when I get home but it's about one second for you <laughs> so here's today's collection it's the first job we've been on our oops sorry we've been on our fifth adventure now we get to mark off another line on our fossil hunting marker. So we know now we've been on five adventures. So this is what we found today. So we've got the nice 
These are some of the bigger ones I found at my secret spot. It's one of the bigger pieces I've got, all full of fossils. Look at all them. Let's go through, we've got some more on that one. Got another big one there. I'm going to put my finger next to it for scale. Uh, got some more there. Now these are the small ones I picked up at the beginning, which are actually more rare than the big ones. So... Oh, this one is a nice one as well. I found this one when you weren't around. So that's a nice one. Still in the rock. So we've got shells. We've got coral. Some more shells. I'm not sure what those are. And I'm not 100% sure what these are. I'm assuming it's a type of coral or some type of invertebrate. Then we've got some more of the snails and more in. So this one, I think is a big fish bone. So you can see it's a big gill plate, I think. You can see all the little grooves on it. Um, what else we've got bobbing around? So this one's a nice one. With loads of bits and bobs. And then we've got some more that I'm going to have to do some work on and clean up. So, behind here, I have the best ones I've ever found there. So, there's my trailer bike that I found there. Stunning, missing a tiny bit. But, and then, my little jawbone. Look how cool that is. So you can see the teeth. You can see the bottom manageable. You can see the, uh, the, the the where the actual jaw muscles would have attached. And you can see where it starts to go up to the rest of the head. I haven't messed with it or tried to get any more because it's a very hard rock it is. And I don't want to damage anything. So there we go. That's the best two that I've ever found there. Both on different uh, expeditions there. But we can't expect to find something amazing each time we go. So, yeah, Ooh, that's what we've collected. So, some of it's going to be in the shop as decor. Uh, some little bits are, are maybe, I may sell the odd little bit. Um, if anyone wants it for their tanks. But a lot of it I will use in tanks and displays like this. will make an amazing basking rock covered in fossils. So... There we go. That's all what we've found today. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I know it's going to be a bit longer than usual, but it's completely different than what we usually do. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I may do a giveaway for one of the fossils as well. So, like, subscribe, comment, and share, just in case. And then, um, I'll, um, I'll most likely pick someone, and then... I'll, do, I'll sort one of the fossils out from today for them to come and have and come and collect or if they're far away, they, I can post it to you. So I think that might be a little treat for today. If I... Let's pick a nice one, shall we? There we go. There's a nice little shell fossil there. If you like, subscribe, comment and share for me. I'll pick a winner. And then uh, you can come and collect your little fossil. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to watch another video of mine, there should be a little box over there. And then um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, there should be a cir circle up there. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.